What's up guys? A few days ago at IFA 2019, Huawei shows their new processor, the Kirin 990, that will power the upcoming Mate 30 Pro and Mate 30. There are so many upgrades in this processor, as now Kirin 990 not only supports 4G, but it will be used in the 5G as well. And it is one of the most powerful chipset, and it will utilize less power and increase speed. The one feature which caught my attention is the real-time video segmentation. Basically what it does, by using AI, it can replace people or object or the background from a real-time video. That's right, as you can see in this official video, not only you can replace people or object, you can reorganize them, increase or decrease the size, you can add background blur, change the background and more. You can do all this in real time. And that is a real impressive feature. Content creator and video shooter who make a lot of video will love this feature. But the question remains, will it will be going to work as precisely as Huawei is showing in this video? Well, I guess only time will tell because we have seen in the past most companies over promise and under deliver and that's really disappointing but I hope it isn't the case with the Mate 30 Pro. It's a real cool feature so I am hoping it works as advertised. Another interesting feature in Mate 30 Pro is going to be Face AR which is used for heart rate and breath rate monitor. But just looking at the front camera of Mate 30 Pro your heart rate and breath can be monitored. By using the combination of image signal processor and AI the face can measure your heart and breath rate, track face expression, your respiration rate and other health data and all you need to do is to look in front of the camera. Well, Huawei explanation for this is that every time our heart beat, the blood flows to the face will increase which cause more light to absorb. The camera notes every tiny change of every pixel and sends to it and sends to the image signal processor and NPU to calculate the heart rate, respiration rate and other health data which is really impressive. And the question remains how the feature will gonna work and are they reliable and can they perform up to the task. I will believe that we will see soon this after the launch of Mate 30 and Mate 30 Pro. So that's all in this video. Thanks for watching this video and if you like this video consider subscribing and I will meet you in the next one. Peace out.